Today we are going to cover the connection of a drip irrigation system to a standard outdoor faucet. Drip irrigation systems need to be supplied with clean water at a reduced pressure, so when connecting to a faucet, it is necessary to install a backflow preventer, filter, and pressure regulator at the beginning of the system. This series of components is called the head assembly. When the head assembly is connected to a faucet, the components should all have hose-type threads, just like the faucet. This way, they screw together and onto the faucet, and they don't leak. Now, it's good to know that most of these products are also available with 3 quarter inch pipe threads, which are the kind used on PVC fittings and sprinkler valves. 3 quarter inch pipe threads are closer together than hose threads, and they will leak if you try to connect them to hose threads. Another way to identify DIG pipe thread products is by the color. If you see a gray color like this, it's going to be pipe threads. Now one nice thing about hose threads, there's no need for Teflon tape or tightening with a wrench. Hose thread fittings, just like a garden hose, always seal against a washer. So before installing these products, it is a good idea to make sure that they all have washers in place in the female inlet side. The first component, which is optional, is a hose end timer. These can be battery or solar powered and they're a simple way to automate the system. The timer has a female hose thread inlet side that is screwed onto the faucet first. It should be turned clockwise onto the faucet by hand until tight. Take care not to cross thread the connection when tightening. It is not recommended or necessary to use a wrench to tighten this or any other hose thread fitting. The second component is the backflow preventer, which is a hose thread vacuum breaker. It is designed to prevent water from moving back upstream into the water supply. Like the other components, it has a female hose thread inlet and a male hose thread outlet side. Turn the female side clockwise onto the male outlet of the timer or faucet until it is hand tight. The next component to connect is the filter, which also has a female inlet and a male outlet. Turn the female fitting clockwise onto the male outlet threads of the backflow preventer until it is hand tight. The filter body can be turned to point at any angle after installation. The pressure regulator is the next component to connect. This regulator is preset to reduce the incoming pressure to the drip system to 25 psi. Simply turn the female inlet side clockwise onto the male outlet of the filter until it is hand tight. The last fitting to connect is the swivel adapter, which has a female hose thread inlet and a half inch compression type outlet for connecting the half inch poly tubing. Turn the female side clockwise onto the male threads of the pressure regulator until hand tight. This completes the installation of the head assembly to an outdoor faucet. To learn more about drip irrigation and dig irrigation products, please visit digcorp.com. Thank you for watching.